The ECS health and safety test is essential if you want to work in the electrical industry in the UK. Passing it proves that you understand workplace safety and allows you to apply for an ECS card. Taking a test is never okay, I know, but it doesn't have to be. In this video, I will break down exactly what to expect when you sit down for an ECS health and safety test, the types of questions that you will meet, as well as my best tips to help you pass this test on the first try. Now, if that sounds like something you want and you'd be willing to listen to for a couple of minutes, then stay tuned. I am Tino and welcome to my channel. So what is the ECS health and safety test? It is a 45 minute multiple choice exam with 50 questions and for you to pass you need to get 86% so that is 43 questions out of the 50 have to be correct. Sounds easy right? Yeah I think so. Now the test ensures that you understand safety procedures, emergency protocols and risk management in the electrical industry and the questions are based on the ECS revision book which covers important topics like risk assessments, working at heights, fire safety and much much more. Now when you hear the word test or being tested the first thing that you want to know is what exactly am i being tested on what should i read how should i prepare what topics should i cover where should i even start and it can get so overwhelming now i'm here to take all that burden from you and help you with the topics to read ahead in case you are going to write this test so i'm going to cover the topics that are actually i'm going to talk about the topics that are covered in the health and safety test the first topic that they cover is general health and safety so in general health and safety in this section what you're mostly going to be asked or what you would want to focus on when you're doing your studies is common workplace hazards and the responsibilities of the employees and the employer when it comes to safety now the second topic that you can read on actually you should read on because you'll be tested on it is fire and electrical safety so things like how to handle live wires preventing electrical fires etc etc so if you read on those things you will be able to answer the section or questions about fire and electrical safety the third topic that you should revise on and read because it will be asked in the exam is working at heights so things like proper setting up of scaffolding and proper use of ladders those are the things that they are going to be asking in this section of the exam so to ensure that you're safe when you're working on ladders and you're safe when you're working on any kind of scaffolding and then the fourth topic that they will cover is manual handling so how to safely lift and carry heavy objects you know that saying lift with your legs and not with your back yeah that's where it comes from so manual handling is also another thing that they are going to be asking you and then the fifth topic that they will focus on is PPE your personal protective equipment so when to wear it how to wear it and which equipment is needed for what situation so read on that for the exam and then the sixth topic is emergency procedures so what to do in case of fires and where to go how to behave how to react what to do and what not to do in case of electrical fires so those six topics constitute the whole exam so if you read on those six topics you will definitely get that 86 percent or above so all this information is well and good and it's amazing to actually have this provided for you but how do you actually prepare for the exam here's what you're going to need to do for you to be able to get ready feel ready and prepare for the ECS health and safety exam. Number one, I would advise you to get the official ECS revision book. And you can get this from the ECS website and I will link it down below in the description. So just click there and then get the book. And then the second thing is use online mock tests. 
Now, practice, 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 practice. It makes perfect. Now, if you keep reading and reading and not actually practicing the mock exam, you don't get a feel of what the exam is like, the potential questions that might come, how you react when you see questions. So practice with those online mock tests and see your problem areas and then work on them. And then the third thing is to take notes on common mistakes. So like I said earlier, practice, practice, practice. As you practice, you actually highlight and see where you commonly have mistakes and where you have uh, little understanding in terms of the topics. And then you can try and work on those mistakes ahead of the test and then the fourth thing is to focus on key areas so for example key areas are like working at heights and fire safety so you need to hammer on those points because they come with so many questions and according to statistics they hammer on these because i think it kind of encompasses a lot or it has a lot to do with what you will do on a day-to-day -day as a person who's working in the electrical industry so try to focus on these key areas and make sure you have it down to the T. And then the fifth thing is to set a timer. Like I said, this exam is 45 minutes and you have 50 questions. It doesn't make sense to be practicing and giving yourself an hour or an hour and a half to answer the 50 questions. So try to answer the 50 questions in 45 minutes and see if at all you're making the time or you're spending more time on more questions and then try to figure out a way to manage your time so that you stick to answering 50 questions in 45 minutes. Now you've prepared for the exam, you've read, you have practiced, you have gone through the revision guide, you've done everything and it's finally the day where you need to actually take the test. So I am going to just try and help you navigate the day of the test with simple things that you can do to make sure you're calm and you're ready to actually this ECS health and safety exam. So the first thing that I would advise you to do is to sleep the day before. Try and practice all the days leading up to the exam. And then on the day before, try to get as much sleep as possible because if you don't have enough sleep, then it will mess up with your concentration and you don't want that in the exam. So try as much as you can to have enough sleep and enough rest the day before the exam. And then the second thing I'd advise is for you to be on time so that you don't panic because every time you're late, you're going to panic. Now things are just going to start going out of your head because you're panicking and you're not settled. So try to arrive on time. Try to be on time. If you're taking the test online, then try to log on early if you're taking the test at a site try to arrive at that place early so that you're not panicking and you don't get disqualified on the basis of not actually meeting the time and then the third thing that i would advise you to do is to read your questions carefully don't assume the question is saying what it's not saying answer the question as it is so read the question carefully understand the question then proceed to answer it and then the fourth thing is well it's a multiple choice question so it's easy if you're not sure of your answers try to use the elimination method eliminate what you are actually sure is the wrong answer you will end up with the right answer and then the fifth thing that i would advise is to just stay calm and focused because look You've watched this video. You've gone and implemented what this video is telling you. So trust yourself because you've practiced, you've prepared. Now execute. Once you've passed the exam, you will receive your certificate via email. And then you can use the certificate then to go ahead and apply for your ECS card. If you do not know what an ECS card is, I would advise you to watch this video right here where I talk about the types of ECS cards that are in the UK and the kind of card that you might need and how to get it and yeah, go there. So then you can use your certificates to apply for an ECS card and this will just prove to employers that you are a safe operator and you're safe, you're not a risk to the company. And 
if you haven't attained the 86% and you fail, don't be dismayed. You can still take the exam again after 24 hours, but you will have to pay again, right? So you will still get a chance to do better next time. I think this information is very valuable if you're looking to sit and write a ECS health and safety exam. So if you found this useful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I will be sure to respond to each and every question. And I will see you in the next video. And if you feel like hanging around for a little while, I'd advise you go watch this video here where I talk about the kind of ECS cards that are issued in the UK and the kind of card that you might need to work um, for a particular role in the UK and this playlist here where I talk about the kinds or the ways in which you can work in the UK as an engineer with overseas qualifications. I will see you in the next video.